hello, hello. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK for another Celebration Sunday, bringing you my favourites from Celebration this year. And we've got some great ones. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you the Oso oh Ombre beautiful designer series papers. And if you've got your Celebration brochure and have a little flick through it, you will find them here. Aren't they gorgeous and versatile? These beautiful papers, they come in a big stack. You get 48, they're six by six, and you get 48 double-sided sheets. The colours are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Rococo Rose. Some of my favourites. Look at the samples that have been made. Aren't they great? So versatile. So I'm going to show those off to you today. If you need a celebration brochure or a catalogue, do let me know. I'm happy to pop one of those in the post for you. But here are the papers, and they're fabulous. They are. Let's have a look. I only got mine this week and love them. Absolutely love them. They're going to be so useful. Pop them out like that. Let's take that cellophane out of the way. Right, here we go. So you can see how pretty they are. So some of them have got these little kind of oval shapes on them, like so. And then they come in all those gorgeous colours. And this size is like the pinks and the reds. Let me take the back off. There we are. And this side is like the blues and the greens. And they're ombre because they have this lovely ombre fade to them. So you get a selection of each type, the ombre and the beautiful ones with the design on. And they're great, I love those. And I think I'm gonna be using them because they got a lot in the pack, so they go on forever. But I'm gonna show you how to get the most out of your stack of papers with a little trick for six by six paper stacks. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to make a stack of cards in minutes and getting the most out of your six by six papers. So I'm going to bring in the Whisper White Note cards and envelopes to do this. Um, these are fabulous. They come in a pack um, of 20. Um, they're pre-scored already. Um, and they, yeah, you get your envelopes and everything in the packs. It's all done for you. And they're just a lovely, perfect size, especially for making cards with the six by six papers. Let me just turn this light off to see if I can improve the light there in the video. No, I don't think that helps at all. So we'll go with this. All right. So we're going to use one of these note cards and envelopes. In fact, I'll get two out. I'm going to show you how to make two cards very quickly. And you can make a stack of these. So I am going to choose a colour of the paper. Now I've got some Blackberry Bliss cardstock out, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to choose that colour. Uh, so this is it. This is Blackberry Bliss, and it's got that lovely Granny Apple Green on the back. Okay, let's move this over. So I'm going to get. I haven't opened this pack of cards, so let's just open this up. Um, my idea today was to show you how to make the most out of your six by six papers and show you these lovely Oso oh Ombre ones free with celebration. Um, but also the colour coordination that you get with Stampin' Up! and how it can save you a lot of work and headache. So basically, I find it's so much easier if you're getting started to get some of the cardstock um, that matches your papers. Um, now all our papers have the Stampin' Up! colours in them and it says on the back what colours they are. So you could find a pack of cardstock that will match one of the colours in your papers. So that's what I've done here. So I've got the cardstock and then you need your ink. Let me grab that. I didn't get that out. What a fool I am. There it is. So if you don't have all the colours and everything, like most of us, and you come to make a card and you're just frustrated because you don't have the different things that coordinate, just go for some basic little collection. You can get the ink pad, you can get one of the papers and you can get the cardstock and you're away. And I'm going to show you how to make the most of your six by six papers by doing this. All right, so I've got my card bases. I'm just going to fold those. They're pre-scored. I really love these papers. I'm going to be making a lot with them, I think. But I'm actually going to make a stack of thank you cards for all my customers. So I'll make a start. So now, decide which way you would like your card to be. Would you like to have a portrait or a landscape? I think I'm going to go for a portrait to start off with. And then next time I'll go for a landscape. So I need to fit the, these to fit my card. So let's bring in our 
coloured cards because I'm going to make a layer from these. That's the way you get more out of your 6 by 6 cards. So, my Whisper White um, card base, this is 3.5 inches by 5. That's the size that they come in. And I would like my little layer to go quarter of an inch smaller. So, 3.5 by 5. So I need it to be three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So I'm going to turn it on this side and I'm going to cut off four and three quarters, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to go for three and a quarter for my layer. Now if you cut it like this, you can cut two at once, you get two cards out of it. I've got a piece left over, I'm going to leave that for later. So I've got those two for my two layers. And then I've got this big sheet left over, so I can get at least another two from here. And then I've got some spare. So I can get four cards from one sheet of cardstock. So if we have one sheet of cardstock, and if I picked out two of these, I would get four cards out of that. That would be so economical. Okay, so I've got that and I've got my piece of paper so I'm going to cut this the right size now so I'm going to go down quarter of an inch again to make my layers so this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters so I need to go three by four and a half now so if I cut this at four and a half uh, I've got to make sure I do this right four and a half I think I'm going long ways aren't I yeah, I'm going to need this piece of paper, so I'm going to keep that handy. Um, I want to go three, three, I think, because this is three and a quarter. So I need to go, yeah, of course I need to go three. And the reason I need to go three is because the paper is six inches square, so I can get exactly two pieces from one sheet. Because if I didn't put this layer in, I would end up with a three and a quarter and I could only get one one piece out so I can make two cards by doing it like that makes it so easy all right so I've got my card base I don't know where I put my other card base here it is I'm gonna make two so these layers are going to stick together and I like this ombre here so I'm going to do it going down this way like that. and I'm going to glue those on to start with it's such a quick and simple way to make a stack of cards. You could have as many going on in as many different colours as you wanted or had the cardstock and ink for. So here we go. There you go. So you get a lot of these. I need to change the blade on my trimmer. I must do that. I keep forgetting. Okay, so I've got two fronts and I'm going to stick them straight onto my card bases. Quick and easy. This is a really good way of keeping in touch, especially at the moment. If you wanted to send little words of encouragement or a little handwritten letter in the post, this would be a lovely idea. You could just make a stack of these or you could actually make a stack of birthday cards for the rest of the year using your papers. And you could put them in a little sort of box by month and just send them out when the birthdays come along and use birthday sentiments and things on them. And you are organised. No more forgetting birthdays. I need to take a leaf out of my own book there. <laughs> I think that's the plan. Right, OK, so we've got these two. Easy peasy, wasn't it? One sheet of card and less than half a sheet of cardstock. Okay, so this is the little piece of paper I've got left over and I'm going to keep that here too. Now, Whisper White Scrap. I need some of that to do my stamping on. And we are going to be doing a little bit of die cutting as well. Grab some card. The scrap I had has... It is done. I have finished it. Okay, so now I wanted to show you these. 
I have used on my sample card that I made for this one, I've used the So Sentimental stamp set and it goes with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. These dies are fabulous. Look how stitched and lovely they are and they're perfect for making um, cards or anything, labels for boxes. There always seems to be a label for what I want with these and they're double stitched. Well, no, they're not. They're stitched here and then they're scalloped there. You can see I was using this one. So that's that's what we're going to be using. There's so many layers you can use. They're really versatile. And I've chosen these actually because they're perfect. Because you can have a thank you card, you can have a friendship card, a get well card, some kind of anniversary card or wedding card. There's a, this calls for confetti. So that's a wedding or a birthday. You've got a little confetti here. You've got hello baby for you to and from. Yumilicious if you're making packaging with sweets in or something. It's such a useful set and goes with this die set as a bundle. Um, and I picked them purely because I thought they'd make a stack of cards really quickly and they've just got everything you need to make lots of different occasions. And then I thought about it again. And actually this bundle is exactly £45 because if you buy them together as a bundle, you save 10%, which is great. But the purchase that you need to make to get the Oso oh Ombre designer series papers for free from Stampin' Up! from the celebration, I mean, uh, it's £45. So you've got this for £45 and you can make as many cards for as many years as you like <laughs> using this set. And I thought that was ideal to show off. Right, so let's do some stamping. Okay, so I think I'm going to make uh, a thank you card to start with. So let's get that one out. I can't thank you enough. I'll grab a block. And that Blackberry Bliss. Hmm, what did I do with the ink pad? I just got a bit excited and covered everything up when I was showing you that. Right, Blackberry Bliss ink pad. Oh, I haven't used this colour in such a long time. I don't know if it needs re-inking or not. I can't remember, to be honest. I'm going to stamp it in the middle so I can use my dye around it. Oh, no, that's lovely. I can't thank you enough. Okay, that's that one. And then I think I'll use this one. This one that I used for my sample one, which I'll show you in a minute. That is a get well card. So let's just give that one a clean because I used a different colour for that one. I was using Rococo Rose. So let's do that as well. Sending healing hugs. And this is not going to be too long a video today, you'll be pleased. Sending healing hugs. There we go. Oops. Get an ink all over my desk. Right. Okay, let's find out which of these Stitch So Sweetly dies fits. Now, I know this one fits on here because I used it earlier on. And I've used it before. Let's just put some washi tape to keep it anchored down. And then I might go for a bigger one. I can't thank you enough. That's quite nice. That one might fit on there as well. Yeah, that fits on there nicely, actually. I might use the same one because they're quite small cards, aren't they? Well, they're not huge anyway. So let's do that. Let's cut my paper up because um, I don't need to put all that through the die cutting machine. If you don't have a die cutting machine and you want these papers and you want to make cards like this, just go for it. You just uh, cut some rectangles out instead. You don't have to die cut. It will look beautiful. Right, we have got one. If you've got other dies, just use those. Right. I can't thank you enough. Do you see the stitching on them? How pretty is that? Love that. Right, let's take this off. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing with you, but in Buckinghamshire today, it is blowing a hoolie. It is so windy. We are due snow. Uh, it hasn't arrived yet. Let's wait and see. But I'm taking the opportunity to bring you a video and staying in the warm. 
I'd love to know what you're doing today. Do let me know in the comments, won't you? I hope you're getting to do some crafting. I've got sending healing hugs for the second card. And they're simply going to go on the front. Like so. Let's just tidy this up so I can see what I'm doing. Because if I don't do that halfway through, I lose everything. <laughs> okay. Sending healing hugs. I love the contrast of the white with the Blackberry Bliss. It's so nice. All right, now, do you remember that scrap of paper that we kept? Where has it gone? What did I say about me losing things? Here it is. So the piece of paper that I cut off the bottom of that six by six sheet of designer series paper is here. And we're not even gonna waste that one. So I've got a little bloom punch here. This is a small bloom punch. You can use any flower you've got. I'm gonna cut out three for each using this paper. Goodness, I haven't tried that and it's almost exactly what you need. Look at that. And then you've got a tiny strip left if you wanted it. Okay, so we have six flowers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sentiment panel on and I'm going to put it on with some sticky foam pads. Our oh, dimensionals are perfect for that. So let's do that. And this one. Batch making cards is a fabulously satisfying thing to do and it's so much quicker than making lots of different ones. Um, the fun in card making is designing a card, I think, and making lots of different ones. But sometimes it's really satisfying to make a little batch at a time. So that's going to go on there, right there. And then I'm going to do the same for this one. And you could uh, make them slightly different if you wanted to anyway. And keep the design similar. I can't thank you enough. That's going to go there. And then we're going to bring in these flowers. Um, I'm going to use my fingernail just to pull the petals really gently, not too hard, and make them bend up a little bit to give them some dimension. And I'm going to do that with all of them. And then I'm going to pop them on using some glue dots. Here we go. Oh, there's something I was going to do. Let's do that next. I was going to ink around the edges. I sometimes like a little bit of ink around the edges of these punched shapes so you can't see the white core of the paper so much. I just kind of like the effect it gives. It's just not really that necessary, but I kind of like it. So I've got a little ink dauber. Um, I'm going to grab the same colour ink that I, I'm using. I'm going to pick some of it up. Goodness knows, I don't know what colour I was using on that. Let me just clean it off on a scrappy piece of it. some under there. No, that was just a little bit of pink left on that one. You can wash them in hot soapy water. I'm just going to pick up a little bit I've got in the lid there. Just some from there. Let's close that one up. And then I'm going to see whether, I don't know if you can see the white edge hardly at all to be fair, but I'm just going to go around it. And you can see that edge of darker colour and it just gives it a bit of depth. Just pleases me. You don't actually have to. Of course. And it doesn't take a second to do. I did with a <laughs> finger that's inky. But it does make a difference. It just looks more finished. There. Like so. Almost done. One more. You can see the difference. Can you on the camera? Perhaps you can't. Um, I can but camera doesn't show up everything. But it looks better. There we are. 
So we've done that. I can put that over the side, but I've now got a bit of a pink thing over that side. Right, and the, so they're all ready to go. Now, one at a time, I'm going to pop them on. Um, I've got my glue dots in a little reel here, my mini, my mini ones. These are the small mini glue dots that I'm using. I'm stamping up. Let's have a look. So, got them here, and I'm just going to pop them on the back. Easy peasy. Right. So I'm going to just tuck one down like that under the edge of here. So I've left a gap with no dimensional too far up just so I could make sure I had a room to pop that in. And then I'm going to put one. Oh, I didn't pick it up. There we are. Put one here, making sure I can still see. Oops. Still see what the sentiment says. Like that. And then the third one, the other side. Simple. And move that to so see the top of the T. There you are. Press it down, make sure it's glued on. And then I can do the other one the same. And it's starting to take shape, these two little cards. Obviously, you could do your four at once if you had one sheet of the cardstock and two pieces of the paper. And you'd be done in 10 minutes or so, wouldn't you? Just line it all up and go for it. Be nice to do all the different colours, wouldn't it? I'm probably going to do a stack of thank you cards in all the different colours, to be honest. How pretty is that? Um, and I've got the little rhinestones just to go in the centre. So using my take your pick tool, I'm going to take some of the medium ones and pop them right in the centre. And it brings that flower to life, do you see? Like that. Make sure it's central. There we go. Lovely. And then we'll just put a couple of the really smaller ones, just dot them about. You get to go a bit mad with the rhinestones with this card. I like that. Get your bling going. And then this one. <laughs> oh, that's a bigger one. I think I've used a bigger gem there. I like that. Oh, I really like that. I sometimes have trouble using the larger ones. Uh, I really like it on these little blooms. These little, the little bloom punch. That's so nice. I do like that. I might be using some more of those. Right, let's pop some more of these little ones on. I like... Oops anywhere. I don't think overthink where I put them because they'll be there for ages. Right, I can't thank you enough. So that's two made using a sheet of Blackberry Bliss cardstock that we've only used half of, some scraps of Whisper White and one sheet of the 6x6 six six designer series papers. Um, and we've used all of it. We've even used the edge for the little flowers. So we've got two there. I hope you love it. This was the original one I made and I used it, the Rococo Rose. Exactly the same. Um, and you could do any kind of card. You could do your birthday ones or whatever it is you like. So yeah, some hints for you there. You can you get the So Sentimental bundle for £45 and get the ombre papers completely for free um, through Celebration. That's the only way you can get these papers, these free ones. Um, yeah. You could do it that way. You can use the mini uh, note cards and envelopes to make sure you get lots of cards made and use only one sheet of this for two cards. And those are the different colours. So, so pretty. Hope you've enjoyed it and you've got something out of this video. 
please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you do. You don't know how much it helps me along. Thank you so much. And if you do like any of the products, they're available in my online shop at inksnabshare.inc. I'm live on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock in the morning on my Facebook page and on Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, with some great paper crafting inspiration. So do join me. And uh, thanks so much for today. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.